Hi, this is your host Sapni Bharti and we are at the end of 2020 and almost at the beginning of 2021. Uh, and today we have with us Oleg Junikin, a CTO of Kubler. Oleg, first of all, it's nice to have you on the show. So uh, I, I, I think that you are holding a crystal ball in your hand to give us a peek into what things will look like in 2021. But before we go there, I would love to know what is Kubler doing? What problem you're trying to solve for the ecosystem and industry? Tell me about it. Yes, thank you for inviting me. And uh, uh, yes, uh, it's no secret that uh, containers, Kubernetes and cloud native took IT industry by storm and uh, many companies uh, find benefits in that. And uh, what we do with Kubler is uh, building a uh, Kubernetes management uh, multi-cluster enterprise platform that uh, works on different clouds, uh, on data centers, uh, provides uh, upstream open source vanilla Kubernetes, uh, allows companies avoid vendor lock and uh, start very quickly with very short time to market. Now, let's talk about predictions for 2021. What predictions do you have? Uh, well, first of all, of course, uh, cloud native uh, adoption will continue to grow. Uh, more people uh, and companies will, will, will jump on board, whether uh, in flight, who already started POC, they will expand. Uh, those who just starting will, uh, will uh, build uh, their capability. Uh, the second one is that, and that, that, that's based on what we see in our customers, sophistication of uh, uh, users of Kubernetes and cloud native stack in general will continue to grow. So if a year ago uh, people just were learning, uh, figuring out what it is and how it can help them, so now they are much more aware of uh, uh, the requirements uh, that need to be put in place. That includes, again, multi-cloud and many aspects and uh, um, uh, centralized management, etc., etc. And the third one is uh, uh, multi-cloud hybrid and uh, uh, on-prem uh, will become more prominent uh, in requirements to be ready for such deployments and uh, uh, will take like big place in, 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 in how companies are planning for um, Kubernetes deployment and provisioning. And now let's talk about the focus of Kubler in 2021. Talk about it. Well, uh, first of all, well, business uh, business focus is the most important one. So we'll continue growing our customer base, uh, including some of Fortune 50 customers uh, and companies. Uh, we'll continue growing our partnership network. Uh, it's always a good example of a uh, very fruitful partnership with Cloud Tamer, for example. We just recently announced that. So Cloud Tamer built a cloud cost management solution <coughs> and uh, Kubler. Uh, multi-cloud uh, Kubernetes management solution. So they work great together and complement each other very well. So, and uh, we work with other uh, partners uh, in different areas um, to, 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 to build on that model to provide more value. Uh, another focus area is, of course, uh, building uh, on basic functionality, um, uh, uh, customizability, configurability uh, of Kubernetes management in different clouds. And a good example of extension in this area is, for example, ability to deploy fully air-gapped, air-tight uh, Kubernetes clusters in public clouds. So far, we supported that uh, um, in uh, on-prem clusters, uh, but apparently, uh, many players uh, and organizations are interested in uh, tightening uh, and essentially <laughs> isolating completely their clusters in public clouds as well. And that's what we want to make uh, much easier to configure with Kubler. Uh, uh, third area, uh, again, general area is improving governance and uh, manageability capabilities uh, through providing things like policies, cluster templates, uh, governance rules uh, and things like that. So essentially to enable uh, IT ops teams uh, in larger organizations to, 
to make their job easier of managing multiple teams, multiple clusters, multiple groups working within different constraints and limitations. Oleg, thank you so much for sitting down today and not only talk about uh, the focus of Kubler, not only talk about what the company does, but also uh, where we should be looking at in 2021. And I look forward to talk to you again. So once again, thank you. And thank you for having us here, having me here.